Hi, this is a video showcasing a feature which is coming up in the next release of Stevenson's Rocket, which is due out in early April. So here you can see my uh, extremely professional uh, Stevenson's Rocket uh, test rig. So we've got the TV hooked up there, and down here is a pile of graphics cards on top of an old PC. Now, SteamOS supports three different graphics drivers out of the box. It can support uh, NVIDIA cards, which are supported by the latest NVIDIA driver, uh, ATI cards supported by the latest AMD driver, and uh, Intel onboard graphics, which use an open source driver. The problem is that the latest NVIDIA driver dropped support for any cards older than the uh, 400 series, uh, which meant a lot of people with older machines could no longer use them for streaming. And similarly, uh, AMD dropped support for the uh, 4000 series and earlier. So uh, I've taken it upon myself to add support for these older cards into SteamOS. Uh, this is a feature that has uh, been promised several times in the past, uh, but for technical reasons it, it broke. And I basically had an epiphany on how I could implement it in a way that would never break, and here we are today. So we have a... Um, which one's this? This is a GeForce uh, GT610, which is currently supported by the NVIDIA driver a Radeon R5 230, which is currently supported by the uh, FGLRX driver, a Radeon 4550, which is no longer supported, and a GeForce GT210, which is no longer supported. And I'm going to show you all four of these cards working out of the box with uh, the currently in development version of the next race of Stevenson's Rocket. So I will just Put the camera up here, pointing at the screen, and I'll be starting with this card here, which is the currently supported GeForce card. Okay, that's powering on, slowly. Slowly. See, part of the problem with the test lab is it's kind of made of really old found bits of equipment, including a very old and slow laptop hard drive, so these tests aren't as quick as they could be. Um, but never mind. And you can see there that it is a GT610 using the latest NVIDIA driver in the SteamOS uh, Alchemist Beta repository. So we go back and we shut down to try the next card. Next up is this currently supported Radeon. Uh, it says it's an R5 uh, 
230 on the box. It's actually some kind of 6000 series card, and AMD just renumbered all their cards for some reason. So, let's see how that one does. Up it comes. So you can see this is already lots less smooth uh, than the other card, but that's hardly a shock for anyone who knows about AMD's driver support. As you can see here, it's been detected as a Radeon 6450 and is using whatever version of the AMD driver is in SteamOS. So once again, we go back, we shut down. And we switch to the next card on the pile, which is this one here, an old Radeon 4550, which is no longer supported by AMD's driver. So, support for old Radeons, as I said, is something that was supposed to be in previous releases of Stevenson's Rocket. What happened is that it was implemented by modifying one of Valve's packages to add support for the older card. And the problem came when an update was pushed out to SteamOS that uh, updated that package with a Valve version which removed the, uh, the hacks I put in place to support the older card. So people who had it working fine uh, suddenly found themselves losing support. And as I said, the new mechanism that I've implemented here uh, no longer suffers from this problem and does not get impacted by uh, changes to Valve's packages. It's uh, completely independent of the, uh, of the underlying Valve stuff. Settings, system, and you can see here that we are using the open source Radeon driver, which has uh, limited but reasonable and improving 3D support uh, using the system version of the Mesa graphics library, which is 10.1.6 uh, with some patches. Uh, so onto the final card. So the final card is this crummy old GeForce GT210, um, refurbished because I'm cheap.
the last card coming up. So the original plan was to do the same thing I did for the older AMD card, which is to use the open source driver for the older cards. Uh, I had it working, I had it testing, and the problem is that the open source uh, NVIDIA 3D driver, which is called Nouveau, is really, really unstable. And I don't know if that's a problem with my card, uh, or with the versions of some of the software in SteamOS, but it was basically unusable. Uh, and would crash multiple times while booting up, and it would crash every time I went into the SteamOS settings. Um, a contact at Valve kind of suggested that they'd already found that this was a problem, is why they hadn't pursued it. So I had a think and decided that I didn't really like being defeated on these kinds of topics. So what we have is a unintrusive parallel installation of the 340 series driver which supports cards all the way back to I think it's the 8000 series from uh, many years ago. Uh, you can see here it's a GeForce 210 running on this driver and it will automatically select either the 340 series driver for the old cards or whatever the latest version is uh, every time you boot up the system. And um, that is basically that. So you can swap between cards, you can upgrade your system as and when, uh, but perhaps more importantly, you can use your current system uh, with your old card, let's say something like this one, uh, to stream fine from elsewhere on your network, or even to play some stuff locally, uh, because all of these drivers have full 3D support. Uh, perhaps not necessarily great, but that's because I got cheap cards. Uh, so this will be shipping in early April. Uh, I'm away next week, so I won't be able to work on it next week, which is part of the problem. But uh, this should be ready for public consumption by then in a fresh release of Stevenson's Rocket. And unlike previous releases, uh, from the next release onwards, you will be able to uh, upgrade, you won't have to reinstall to get any new features, and you'll even be able to convert a vanilla SteamOS install into Stevenson's Rocket with all of these new features uh, without needing to reinstall. So uh, I hope you found that interesting. Uh, I guess the usual rules apply. If you found any of this interesting, then um, I can be found on the Steam Universe discussion forum on Steam. And thank you for your time.